Hello friends, welcome back to your own channel Engineering Network. I am back with another interesting topic. So in today's lecture I will be talking about how to calculate number of concrete blocks in a wall. And also I will try to find out the quantity of cement and sand used in the making of mortar. Now as we all know that concrete blocks are commonly used in the building construction. And that's why every civil engineer should know how to find out the quantity of concrete blocks in a wall. And if you have any problem in estimation of a house, then let me know in the comment section. So in today's lecture, I will explain how to calculate the quantity of concrete blocks and also the quantity of cement and sand in mortar. Before that, if you are new to my channel, then please click on the subscribe button and also don't forget to press the bell icon for more civil engineering videos. Okay, so in today's lecture, I will be talking about how to calculate the number of concrete blocks in a wall. Now, we know that there are two types of concrete blocks that are commonly used in the building construction. One is concrete solid blocks and the other type is concrete hollow blocks and both have their own advantages to use in building construction, okay? So if you want me to make a separate video on concrete solid blocks and concrete hollow blocks, then let me know in the comment below. Okay, so now let's move forward and this is the standard size of a concrete solid block without mortar and its dimensions are 12 inches by 6 inches by 8 inches. So this is the standard size of a block before applying mortar that I am using here. And its size can increase and decrease as per your requirement. So you have to take the size of a concrete block that you are using. Also the thickness of mortar layer that are commonly provided in block machinery is 3 by 8 inches which is equal to 0.375 inches. So the size of a concrete solid block after applying mortar will become 12.375 inches by 6.375 inches by 8.375 inches. And the length of a wall in which I am going to find out the number of concrete blocks is 25 feet. And its height is 9 feet, okay? So this is the brief description about the concrete blocks in the wall. Now as I told you that the standard size of a concrete block without mortar is 12 inches by 6 inches by 8 inches. And the size of a concrete block after applying mortar is 12.375 inches by 6.375 inches by 8.375 inches. And I will use this size in order to find out the number of concrete blocks. And for that, first I will calculate the volume of a single block, okay? So the volume of a single block is equal to length into breadth into height. Here length of a block is 12.375 inches. Breadth or width is 6.375 inches. And height is 8.375 inches. So the volume of a single concrete block will become 660.70 cubic inches. Also, we know that 1 cubic feet is equal to 1728 cubic inches. Okay, so the volume of a concrete block will become 0.38 cubic feet, right? Now I have to find out the volume of a wall. And for that, I have the formula which is length into breadth into height into number of walls. Here, length of the wall is 25 feet. And breadth is 6 inches which is equal to 0.5 feet. And the height is 9 feet. And I have only one wall. So, in number of walls, I will put only one. And if you have two number of walls or three number of walls, then you have to put the specific value in number of walls. So I will put only one here, okay? So the volume of wall is equal to 112.5 cubic feet. So after that, I have to consider some wastage of the blocks. Now this percentage of wastage of blocks is very important. 
because during the transportation of concrete blocks from the factory to the construction site some blocks will break down and some blocks cracks will appear in it okay and we cannot use those concrete blocks so due to this reason i have to consider some percentage of wastage and normally in block machinery we take 5% wastage in concrete blocks okay so the wastage of blocks will be equal to 5 divided by 100 because here 5 is in percent and then i will multiply it with the volume of wall which is 112.5 cubic feet so the wastage of blocks will be equal to 5.625 cubic feet right and after that the total volume of the wall will becomes 112.5 plus 5.625 and it will be equal to 118.125 cubic feet so the total quantity of wall or the total volume of wall is equal to 118.125 cubic feet now i have the total volume of wall and also i have the volume of a single block as well and now i am ready to find out the number of concrete solid blocks which is equal to volume of wall divided by volume of single concrete block okay here the total volume of wall is 118.125 cubic feet and the volume of single concrete block is equal to 0.38 cubic feet so the number of concrete blocks will be equal to 118.125 divided by 0.38 and it will be equal to 311 blocks so now i can say that in the construction of this 25 feet long and 9 feet high wall i will need 311 concrete blocks next is the quantity of mortar now as we all know that mortar is made by mixing cement and sand okay and here the ratio that i take for mortar is 1 ratio 5 you can take any ratio as per your requirement but this one ratio 5 is the most preferable one okay and also the sum of ratio will be 1 plus 5 which is equal to 6 now in block machinery we normally take 20 percent of dry volume and this percentage of dry volume is different in brick machinery okay so you have to keep this in your mind so the dry volume will be equal to 20 divided by 100 and then multiply it with the total quantity of the wall which is 118.125 cubic feet so the dry volume is equal to 23.625 cubic feet now as i told you that mortar is prepared by mixing cement and sand okay so here in this dry volume I have to calculate the quantity of cement and sand. So the quantity of cement will be equal to dry volume multiplied by ratio of cement divided by sum of ratio. Here in this ratio, 1 represents the ratio of cement. The dry volume of mortar is 23.625 cubic feet and the sum of ratio is 6. Okay. So the quantity of cement will be equal to 23.625 multiplied by 1 and then divide by 6 and it will be equal to 3.93 cubic feet. Here I need cement in the form of bags not in cubic feet. And also I know that the volume of one cement bag is 1.25 cubic feet. So here I will simply divide this quantity of cement which is 3.93 cubic feet by 1.25 cubic feet and the number of cement bags will be equal to 4. So I can say that 4 number of cement bags will be used in the mixing of 1 ratio 6 mortar. Next is the quantity of sand. Now quantity of sand is equal to ratio of the sand multiply by dry volume of mortar and divide by sum of ratio 
Hair ratio of sand is 5. Dry volume of mortar is 23.625 cubic feet. And sum of ratio is 6. So the quantity of sand will be equal to 5 multiplied by 23.625 and divided by 6. And it will be equal to 19.68 cubic feet. So this is the quantity of sand that will be required in the mixing of 1 ratio 6 mortar. So this is how you can easily calculate the number of concrete solid blocks in a wall and also the quantity of cement and sand used in the mixing of mortar. And if you have any question in this lecture then let me know in the comments below. Also if you find this video informative then please like this video, share it and if you are new to my channel then hit the subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will never miss a notification whenever I upload a new video. See you in the next video.